You can come closer to us. We're not here to harm you. Look at the eyeball up there. Ooh, this room feels weird to me. Whoa, is it face or something? But those are from the same room. Hold on, I'm about to snap. Skull, eyeball, that's some weird. Oh, I got goosebumps now, bro. I'm all over here, Stan. Look at Why does it look like a spider around me, bro? Oh, a hidden Ouija board on the front end. Smells funny up here, too. This is getting way deeper now. Tonight, we're taking you somewhere a bit different. This isn't your usual haunted mansion or creepy old asylum. No, this is something unique. A modern, artsy house filled to the brim with striking artwork. And it's alive, but not in the way you might think. The owners of the property have had this location for many years now, and they've claimed to see all sorts of strange things happening throughout the years. They've even tried to rent this place out as an Airbnb, and their guests and visitors have captured many strange things as well on film while taking photographs at this location. Faces have been captured in photographs where there shouldn't be any. Orbs of light, shadow figures lurking in corners of the room. It's chilling, and it's all been captured on camera. But that's not all. There are sounds, too. Unusual, strange noises when everyone's asleep filling the house with an uneasy feeling. Tonight, Colton and I are here to try and figure out what's going on. We're going to run our tests, explore every nook and cranny of this place, and hopefully capture some evidence of our own. So stay tuned. Tonight's going to be a creepy one. growing all over the damn bricks. Honestly, the place looked pretty nice to me. It was very modern looking, had a lot of cool artwork everywhere. What's this? Huh. Weird old painted old gray. Photos of, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they have grandkids. I don't know. But those are from the same uh, Polaroid that I'm about to snap. Pictures with same exact film and everything. A lot of people had claimed that they had captured strange things in photographs at this location. We arrived prepared. I brought a Polaroid camera. We had a bunch of film, and we planned on snapping pictures in this place pretty much the entire night. I'm gonna take all pictures of these rooms. Let's see what we got here. Piano. If there's anybody here that would like to communicate with us, you can come closer to us. We're not here to harm you. We're just here to try to figure out who you are. And if there's a message you would like to give to the owners of this house, we'd be happy to help. Let's see what we got down this hall. I can get one of this room too. Oh, look at all that shit, bro. Oh. We started noticing that all of the art displayed in this house in some way related to the dead. Why is it that these people that buy old houses are just, they have to like 
enshrine or like represent death in some sort of way. Skulls and eyeballs and that's oh. some weird Whole ass necks and heads of animals. Look at me, oh, I'm an advocate for hunters and whatever else, but it's like, yeah, it's based little... on what I've seen so far, like, I, I doubt the very nice lady that decorated this place was yeah. super into hunting. Yeah, no, I'm sure she was just more into death. <laughs> yeah. Look at the eyeball up there. That's just strange to me. Yeah. There was a lot of death scattered among one of the walls, eyeballs looking at you. Nice little kitchen in here. Huh, look at this, the whole table is like painted. Oh wow. Yeah, somebody hand painted this, it looks like. As we were walking through the house, we get to like the kitchen area and they have this huge handmade table that somebody that lives there or somebody that owns that place definitely had taken part in creating. And as I'm looking at the artwork painted on the top of this table, I noticed in the far corner, they had hidden a Ouija board in the artwork. Oh, what's up? There you go. Might have something to do with the activity in here. Oh, a hidden Ouija board on the painting? Yeah, whoever's just like... Just hiding a Ouija board in my painting? Like, well, okay. well, whoever's like into... Yeah, someone noticed that that bought this. Come on now. Yeah. So that's the, that's the real story. Ooh, this room feels weird to me. Hang on. I don't know what it is. Just walking in here feels weird. And look at that painting, too. Here, oh, this. what? Dude. You know what's weird about this? They all look sad. Something about the picture of these little girls on the wall um, felt weird. This one looks like a fucking demon. The one on the end looks like, oh, look at that girl with the black, or blood on her eye. This one? Yeah. Yeah, this one looks like she's got blood on her head. Well, first of all, what the f is that? There was a, a gray figure among them all, and it was like they tried to cover up this figure with like white paint, but there was blood among some of the girls. It was just very, very weird. Is she holding like a gun or like a crystal ball or something? No, it's like a face. Oh, it's like a dark gray, like ghoulish looking face. And it looks like there's a symbol drawn on the forehead. Why is there a giant white line in between her and the other ones? Is that supposed to be Maybe they, uh... symbolic? And why are they holding? Yeah. And why is her hands bloody? Maybe, uh, maybe we should, uh... Cut that. Maybe we should get away from this, yeah? Oh. Hey guys, you may have noticed a new feature on the channel. See that little join button that just popped up next to the subscribe button? Starting right now, you have the opportunity to become a member of our channel. But what does that mean exactly? Well, let me explain quickly. A YouTube membership is a way to show your support to our channel. By clicking that join button and choosing to become a member, you're directly helping us create more of the content you love. In return, you'll gain access to exclusive perks, badges, emojis, and even some members only content. It's like having a VIP pack to your favorite show. Remember, this is completely optional. Our regular content won't change and it'll always be free to enjoy. But if you're looking for a way to get a little more involved, get some cool extras and support your favorite YouTubers, check out the join button for more details. As always, thank you for your support and keep enjoying this video. I'm the Noah. You know, this room is weird, bro. Yeah. Toys. You know what? Let's um, let's set up the uh, the REM pods down here before we even do the upstairs. Okay. So that way we could hear if anything kind of starts interfering. And then um, what do you think about doing like a yes no maybe in this room? Anything? I got the one REM pod here. Okay. And I got another one at the base of the stairs over there. Okay. Casey and I invested in some brand new gear for this investigation. So we had two fresh REM pods, fresh batteries in them. Look at a little dollhouse, that's weird. 
It smells funny up here too. Yeah. What is that? A little cauldron in there? Yeah, I don't know. Just a weird little dollhouse. You ever see uh what's that movie called? Which one? With the dollhouse and the little girl that gets her head knocked off. Hereditary. You ever see that shit? I think so, yeah. It's a pretty fucked up movie. You hear that? REM pod reading. Where is it? One of my main goals at this place was to try to get our devices to react and once the devices react, letting me know that there's some sort of activity or presence close by to the devices, I figured that would be a good time to start taking photographs. If that was you down here near one of these devices, can you please go back to it? I promise it won't hurt you, it's just a toy. If you get close, it'll light up and make a sound. Can you come near one of these? This one over here, the one by the stairs? I can't believe you're that big, you're not so thin. Good ears. It was just squealing. It wasn't blue, it was no, like a solid squeal, right? Mm -hmm. battery drain. What? This flashlight just died while I put the phone down. Oh, no way. I put the phone down so we can go look at that. Give it another click or it's just gonna function. No, well, that's it, huh? Fully charged battery gone once again. A lot of times we're at locations and we experience things like battery drain, and that is when the energy around you is, is so high in activity that it starts pulling energy from certain devices. Okay, so there's stuff happening here. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna have to use your light a bit. Okay, so this is it's the way- developing. Oh, f bro. That's the REM pod. What is all that? Hold up a second. Can you see that? Yeah. Let me take another picture. No way. When we would hear one go off, we would grab the Polaroid camera, snap a picture of whatever was causing that interference. Dude, yeah, that's definitely uh It's like something, something. moving something moving around it. Yeah. What the f yeah, because you see a little red light in the REM pod. Yeah, that's the REM pod. And then you got this blur right there, and then like three that might be a reflection. This is not a reflection. Oh, no, Dude, look not. at that. Come on now. Take a snapshot of that. It's like going by the whole f***ing room. Look at that sh I'm taking another picture. Go for it. What the f*** is going on? This is trippy, bro. Anything from these? I didn't even check these yet. Nope. This one's trippy, dude. Yeah, the first one? Yeah. I think the second one is equally as trippy, though. That is like swimming by. Oh, oh man, sorry. bro, what's happening there? Something's happening over there. What the f***? Wait, look at that real quick. What's making that? Is there something hanging from there? No. We would have seen it on the other pictures. What the f***? Weird sh bro. You didn't move the camera? No. That's weird, right? Like, that one doesn't look like a figure? Well, maybe. If the f 
and figure head like stick arms like spider arms. Yeah. As we take a closer look at this photo, it becomes more and more creepy as we analyze it. What appears to be a head and a body can be seen peeking around the back of this door, accompanied by some very long, slim streaks which almost appear to be arms or maybe wings. I'm not sure. We've never seen anything like this on an investigation. We've never captured anything like this in a photograph. And the shape and the figures that were appearing in these photographs definitely left us both feeling a bit on edge. As we analyze the second photo, you can see that there are long skinny streaks almost as if something is passing by the REM pod. It looks as if it's like a swimming type movement, like wavy a bit. I find it odd that every time we snapped a photo as the devices were going off, it appeared that we were capturing evidence, which means the theory of taking photographs while getting readings might actually work. Want to do a yes, no in there or yeah. something? Try to get some communication there? Yeah, and we'll just keep the Polaroid with us. Okay, yeah, let's That's do that. Cool. REM pod went off as soon as we got here with the prism. Struck. Afraid. You were struck? Says afraid. afraid, yeah. What a combination of words for... Kids? Kids. Struck and afraid? Monachi. Monachi? What's Monachi? I've been getting a lot of dude. I've been getting weird names on here, yeah. Team. We left the obelisk on? Says team. They give us that Hamascus or crazy Yeah, name the f name souls. of the, yeah. Hey, can you look up Monachi? The ovulus says a lot of strange things from time to time. Sometimes it's random, sometimes it's way too coincidental. But when it said Monaki, and we looked up the definition of what that meant, it's a term used for an old Native American hunter, which, strangely enough, there was Native American references in some of the pictures around us. Hold on. Did you see the pictures? Yeah. Huh? Yes. When we first came in this room, I noticed that. Oh, it says running. Mason. Disc, Mason. Cheat. Cheat. Bro, behind you. Native American stuff. Monachi, huh? Dude, this is getting way deeper now. This is getting way trippier. Very strange. I'm wondering if it's something that's like been here since before it was built or something. Could be something ancient. Oh, yes. yes. Whoa. Nuh uh. Something that's like been here since before it was built or something. Could be something ancient. Oh, yes. yes. Whoa. Nuh uh. Something ancient. Okay. Okay, hold on, bro. Can you tell us what your message is you would like to get out? Can make a word come through this device right here? Huh. This thing has never died on us. Ever. And we come in with a full f***ing battery every time. Oh. Huh. Dead. That's a doornail, huh? Dead. Suck the life out of this. You're taking a lot of energy from our devices tonight. This is one flashlight and an obelisk dead now. Why are you doing that? Are you trying to build up energy for something? Do you need energy from these devices? My camera's fine. Is it? Yeah. Let me see some. Usually it's the camera that's happening. Cool, I'm not. What are you? I'm at 22%. No way. My cell phone dropped about 80% in an hour, which it just doesn't do. My phone usually lasts the entire day. Bro, I should be at like 90 something. That came off the charger. 100% when we came in. I'm at 22%. Oh, now snap it. Did you just take a picture with us? Were you were you in the same room as us just now? Sounded like you uh, came pretty close from what this device just did. Can you do it again? Don't be afraid. 
Oh, dog. What? What do you got? So hey guys, if you're enjoying today's video, now would be the perfect time for you to hit that like button down below, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss the next upload when we drop it, and let's get this video to 50,000 likes so we can move on to the next episode. Much love. Okay. No? What the f What is that? Why does it look like a f spider around me, bro? What we captured on this Polaroid film, I've never seen anything like it. Whatever this was, it looked like streaks, it looked like light streaks, but it was in the shape of like something with eight arms, almost like a spider, but it was like almost surrounding me, like it was trying to hold on to me and not knowing fully how the other side works, that scared me a little bit. That makes me really uncomfortable, bro. That looks exactly like the other pictures, just way gnarlier. Yeah, like the other picture had like arms coming around the fing door. What the f Holy crap, bro. Is this what you look like? Dude, it's like there's a force field around you. Is this what you look like? Is it just the light? Dude, it's like there's a force field around you. I asked if that's what it looks like, it just lit up green. So if you move one of these devices, it'll start blinking like that. The REM pod is back there. It seems like you like that device. You've been lighting that up a couple times. And the yes, no prism is in the middle of the room on the table. Come close to any of these devices to let us know that you're here with us right now. Oh, no. So you don't want to come close to these devices? That doesn't make any sense. Like why? I don't know. All of our devices were acting abnormal. Every single one of them had an issue at one point in this investigation. No. Huh. Is it okay with you if you stay the night here? There was multiple times throughout the night that we obviously couldn't have known during the time of filming, but when I went to edit the video, I noticed that as some of our devices were getting activity, um, Colton's camera would start staticking out like the microphone on his camera. Now, it would work fine the rest of the evening, but every time we would get close to these devices, it's like whatever energy was present was causing an audio interference with Colton's microphone. Why does that keep screaming no? I have no idea. Anything develops on that guy? Dude, that one's just Is insane. You? There's something going on here, man. What's going on with your picture? Dude. What the f Wow. You see what I'm talking about? No, yeah. I have some spider shit around me. What the I don't think whatever's in here is like peaceful, bro. It's definitely. It's I, def I don't feel like it's a good en like energy. It's over there. Oh god. Nope. Bro. Not a good energy. Oh, I got goosebumps now, yeah, I'm bro. All over here, Sam. Look at it. Fuck, dude. 
All of the devices were signaling that whatever was present was not happy we were there. Okay, we get it. Do you want us to leave? Is that what you want? No. I mean, sure. Oh, man. Why are we backed into the corner with the dead shit? Yeah, I don't know. We should probably get out of this area for a second, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, get out of this area. Dude, I'm not real pumped about it. Hey, don't follow me, whatever the fuck you are. Fuck. Whether it was a battery drain or audio interference on a mic we've never had issues with before, something was causing all of these things to go awry. Dude, this thing is going insane in here. Good idea, good idea. We started using the spirit box for a little while. We had got activity on the yes no prism. We had gotten some activity on the ovulus on some of the other devices. Once we started using the spirit box, it seemed like all of our devices started to die down. Uh, I think that we had already hit the peak of the evening with all the devices acting up. And then the spirit box wasn't giving us any solid forms of communication. We turned that off and we decided that we would go to sleep at this location and set up static cameras just to see if anything else would happen the rest of the time that we were there. There was a lot of very eerie, slow moments during this investigation, and we hadn't experienced much in the way of threatening. No one had been physically touched yet, so we decided we were gonna stay the night at this location. When you have a location like this and you have so many people that are saying that they had paranormal experiences there, it piques your interest as a paranormal investigator. I think that what we captured was an actual poltergeist 
on camera. It was something that couldn't be seen by the naked eye, but the photographs were capturing whatever it was that was there. And it's startling. It's definitely startling to see something that could be right next to you and you'd have no idea that it was there. When you walk through the door and you see that they are honoring death openly with every fixture, every painting, every framed object in some way, shape or form related to the macabre, it really leaves no question for us as to why they are experiencing so much activity. We try to capture things on film. We try to capture things in photos. And the fact that we went to this place with a plan and the plan was to detect an energy and then take photographs of the whole area detecting the energy. And it actually worked. Um, that was exciting for me. That was very cool. I feel like that was a step in a new direction for us. And I'm excited to continue trying that in the future. Uh, for all of you wannabe ghost hunters out there who are just getting into it, if you have devices that are going off on their own, try snapping Polaroids of the area as the devices are going off. Um, maybe it's not guaranteed to work every time, but this time it definitely worked for us and I'm happy with the results. If you enjoyed tonight's video and you want to see another scary video like this, you can click right here over on this side. Or if you want to see a funny video to help you go to sleep tonight, you will get some laughs, I promise, because I edited it myself and I know it's damn funny. That would be, uh, that would be over here. All right, later guys. Peace.